We're with Tim from Asquith Butter. They're the UK agents for Bray machine tools. So we're here in the Czech Republic. We've seen the Bram, which is a medium machine, the Brow, which is a large machine. What machine is this? Colin, this is the Braxel machine, which is the XL, XL large version of the, uh, uh, the Bray range. Okay, give me a few specifications of it, please. Well, this machine, it's actually designated for an aerospace customer in the States. It's a 20 meter X axis machine, three meters across on the Y and 1.2 in the Z. Okay, say so 20 metres, that's quite impressive, but it goes larger? Yeah, indeed, the, this is actually the baby of the range. We, we go up to 50 metres in the x-axis, um, we can go up to 2 metres in the z, and 6 metres across the, uh, between the beams. Okay, and what about a quick summary of the spindle speed and through spindle coolant, things like that? Yeah, we, we offer full um, through tool coolant, wet coolant or air mist. Uh, this machine is actually equipped with a 55 kilowatt spindle, 18,000 RPM. We can go up to 24,000 RPM, different variations for different applications. Okay, some impressive statistics, but one thing I've noticed, we're actually standing in the machine. Where's the roof gone? Yeah, one of the big advantages of this machine, it can be fully enclosed. We've got a retractable ceiling that uh, moves along the, uh, the x-axis. The, the advantage there is that we can close the ceiling for machining to contain all the dust and um, coolant. Obviously, for loading, we can retract the roof and then we can load the long components from above using overhead cranes. Okay, so that opens up nicely. What sort of um, industries and materials will this machine take then? Well, it's designed obviously for machining aluminium, uh, aerospace type components, wing spars, etc. Uh, also, long composites, um, also components for the transportation railway industry. So, uh, quite a range of uh, different uh, applications. Great insight into the Braxel. Thank you.